level six. Normally you start off first by saying your name. Well, I'm Arcade. Easy. All right. We'll just do a check-in or something. Getting all this out of the way and whatnot. Oh, I'll tell you what, I am tired after that three-way. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm trying to be as level-headed as possible here, but it's just I'm you hear. Exhausted. Yeah, exactly. I'm exhausted. Man, that's rough. What's rough? The oven. The oven. What happened to the oven? Something there must have been. I don't know if there's like. Uh, I don't know what the what it should be but it just seems like the oven's a bit out of whack oh. should be fixed hopefully by tonight okay so i guess we'll do a check-in or whatever cool and bring you and bring everyone up to speed whatever happened to that shooting oh you wanted to talk about that now you just flat out now you just flat out said you didn't want to talk about it so. yeah i'm talking about with the roommate oh yeah. that yeah. Well, you can vent, dude. That's fine. That's fair. You were wrongfully accused from what I remember, so... Mm -hmm. I don't even like banana chips. Banana chips? That's what it's really all about? Yeah, that and a, and a shoestring. First it's bananas, and then it's shoestrings. It's two different, you know... Yeah. I don't want to talk about that. Yeah. But you're a Leo. I am a Leo. It's a double-edged sword. You're like, oh, I'll give it a week. But, I mean, at this point in time, you know, you pretty much already got a vibe. It could just be something else, though. Yeah, probably. What happened with that shooting? You want to talk about that instead? Yeah, dude, that was, like, major news. That was major news. So, the guy had a trial. I'm not going to mention his name because any... You know, any mention of his name will bring forth even more infamy and even more press and attention. And he deserves none of that attention. Mm -hmm. Six people that could have been listening to this podcast are no longer here with us. Oh, shit. Thus, does not, thus they do not have the opportunity to be able to, uh, to listen and enjoy our, our podcast. So. Those bastards. Yeah, he doesn't deserve any that accolades bastard. whatsoever, exactly. That bastard. Think of life. What do you believe? I mean, what is your... Yeah, that sounds like a life thing. What's your prediction? Yeah, it is a life or thing. Or death sentence. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you know... Death sentence is still life. If you kill one person, that's... That's, you know, they, that was... They just guarantee you they're... That was, a, that was a hit, and then that times times six. What if that was just like a hit gone wrong? And accidentally clipped five people? No, I don't... Machine I don't, gun? Uh, maybe. It was an automatic weapon, you know, obviously. That's possible with those machine guns. Yeah. It's possible. Maybe it was an assassination gun run. And six other and five other people got killed because of it? Yeah, that's possible. That's a that's a huge possibility. Going into a public place with a machine gun. Yeah, I know. Uh, he I was mean, he was walking down the street and just started firing indiscriminately, so That's what I'm saying. Like maybe it was a machine gun. I know mentally I'm not allowed to hold a rifle. You <laughs> thank you so much, by the way. Hey, whoa. You gave me an out because, you know, it's like, oh, they wanted to go down, my, uh, the folks wanted to go down the firing range and whatnot. It's oh, like, we're going to well, be talking about 3D printers? 3D printers? Yeah, because of those ghost guns. Yeah, the guns that may or may not exist that just, you know, appear out of nowhere. The guns that exist but not on paper. Yeah. Can you imagine that? They can print out a gun. And then just pulls up the ad, it's like, delete, and then it just, you know... Breaks into bits and yeah, bites. And they just put it together like it's a big old Lego. Yeah, I know exactly. Lego Land. Which reminds me, you can actually make a gun out of Legos. Lego Land. Columbine High School. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Too no. soon? No. no, no it's, no, um... No. Yeah, that's a bad joke. I know. Deuce chills, but... That was a real thing that happened. A real... You know those 3D printed guns are made out of the same plastic as Legos? Yeah. You can literally make Legos into a gun. Yeah. It's not a good gun. Yeah, no. But you you know, you can probably get like one or two shots out. Yeah. Another Lego game came out. Oh, yeah? Which one is this? Time? The Skywalker Saga. Oh, another Star Wars. Yeah, but I mean... It's so lame. 
If you were to... I used to work for Lego, but that's lame. <laughs> Why is that lame? That's like bringing back Bionicles. Bringing back Bionicle. Nobody Bionicles nobody, under, nobody understood it, but there was a dedicated fan base. Anyway, the, um, the thing Bionicles is... Bionicles was lame. <laughs> Bionicle was lame. That's fair. To each their own. Maybe there was just like a niche or something like that. It was definitely a niche, and I don't know what the market was thinking when they were buying yeah. them. Well, I don't know what it is with Traveler's Tales, you know, they they make they make money, they print money. Oh, is Traveler's Tales is making it? Yeah, they're the ones who uh they did that's the That's weird. They did Why the Why are they doing Lego? They did the uh well, they've done that's, Batman, they done Sam and Max. They done uh, They've done Hulk every, the inventory. They've done uh what do they do? They do uh The Walking Dead. We 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 got go back. No, that's Telltale. Those are two different studios. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What was this? what was the studio you said? Traveler's Tales. Oh, Traveler's Tales. They made uh Going as far back, they've done uh, A Bug's Life, Crash Bandicoot, Crash, Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot is again. so boring and unoriginal. <laughs> That's a hot take and a half right there. It's so boring I mean, and unoriginal. Why, how is it boring and unoriginal, though? For a 3D platformer? Dude, I've seen better 3D platformer maps in the Grand Theft Auto fan community. Well, yeah, fan mods, obviously. Like, that's that's a no-brainer, yeah, you know. Creativity had knows no bounds, but... Okay, but why why would you not make Crash Bandicoot awesome as fuck? If I owned Crash Bandicoot, <laughs> it would be awesome as fuck, but it's boring and lame. Why is and it... And unoriginal. Boring and lame and unoriginal. Yep. I've seen more originality out of a Grand Theft Auto fan map. Dude, I was just playing Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Mm-hmm. And that's... that's... And that is not original. <laughs> Well, Mario yeah. Kart, my guy. It's a remake, but, you know. Mario so. Kart. Okay, I know That's that. That's a better seller. Mm. I don't know what Sony was thinking when they did the Crash Bandicoot thing. There's a knife jabbing in my back right now. Oh, let's uh, mix up uh, fucking Sonic the Hedgehog and Mario, and uh, we'll just rip off Nintendo completely with this uh, Crash Bandicoot fella. No, it, it's not entirely that. You, un- you understand what happened, right? It looks like a mix between Sonic... The Hedgehog and Mario. Well, that's what it was originally called during the during the the beta, the alpha and beta stage. It was you know during development. Mario the Hedgehog. No, during development, it was called Sonic's Ass Game. Sonic's Ass Game. That's what it was. Your whole your whole tail is to the to the to the, to the front to the front of the screen to the back of the screen. Mm. Boring and unoriginal, though. How so? How is that original? I was what original? They ripped off so much. I mean, he's wearing jeans and sneakers. That's, that's so does Super Mario. Sure, that's fair. And he's an animal, just like Sonic. But Mario isn't really an animal. He's actually he's Sonic a, is an animal. Well, Sonic is a hedgehog. That's true. Yeah. What the fuck is Crash? Crash is a bandicoot. It's a marsupial, an Australian marsupial. Okay, it's so they real, sti- they still thing. ripped off. <laughs> they still ripped off Sonic. Oh, I'm getting daggers shot at my chest as you're saying these things. These are we, hot We takes. should add these, uh, <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? The doom. The doom. <laughs> like, that's why your mama dead. Doom. <laughs> dead as hell. Doom. <laughs> I just, you know, I just be like, emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> no, but to say it's boring and unoriginal, I don't, I don't know about all that, man. I mean, I was, you know, I was one of those guys that platinum the entire Insane trilogy, so... I, I don't know why you were dedicated to it. I'm dedicated to it because that's how good of a platforming game series it was. You know they had a mini game series? Like Crash Party or something? Oh, like cr- they had Crash Bash, I remember that. Crash Bash. That's like Mario Party. Exactly. Bash. It's like Mario Party. <laughs> no. Well, I mean, it's, that's, that's it's fair. boring and unoriginal. Mario Party in general is boring and unoriginal. That Ooh, is true. Uh-oh. That uh-oh. is true, though. That is true. <laughs> That's very true. I can't I can't contend with that. No, it's just, you know... I mean, you could take... I mean, if you could follow in the footsteps of Mario and make it... Make the... But did they have to use such a blatant rip-off? Not really. They really use such a knockoff. For what? Crash Bandicoot is like they... a knockoff of Sonic and Mario. Okay, so before... What time did... Uh, I mean, what day... Uh, what year... Did Mario Kart 64 come out? I don't know. Well, there you go, see? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna... But I remember Mario Kart was first. Mario Kart came first, but, you know, Crash Team Racing made it better. Oh, Crash Team Racing... Are you talking about the one where it was, like, 
you can link up with another player and turn into a supercar. Well, that's... No, that's that's Crash Tag Team Racing. Oh, that one was boring, too. Those <laughs> three different things. That one was no, boring, No, I'm saying too. they took the they took the driving mechanic and, you know, they, they somehow made this boost mechanism and all that a bit better. Yeah. They built upon that, you know. They also had Diddy Kong Racing racing as well, so Yo, automatically... if they ever throw Mario into uh, Mario Kart... I mean, Sonic into Mario Kart... Sonic should be running instead of driving. That's fair. He should run. But so basically, per the uh, per the okay. So if we're talking about we're talking about Mario versus like Sonic being into a Mario Kart game, then he must be in a cart because he's so damn fast. He this 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 headshot can yeah, literally yeah, 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 yeah. he can he can orbit around the world and that's not completely fair. He has to be in a cart. In a cart, it's a different story. You remember how in Smash you can play as Master Hand? Okay, if yeah. Could, yeah, if you... If as, you, like, a hidden boss yeah, that you, you unlocked? Yeah, if you can glitch the hell out of it, and yeah. That, so why not have, like, Mar- uh, Sonic race Mario as, like, some super fast footwalker? I understand, but he's the fastest hedgehog on the planet. That's not even fair to do. What about Flash versus Sonic? That would be an interesting matchup, because you got the... you got. Because Sonic is a ripoff of the Flash. I mean, Sonic is inspired by Flash. He's ripped off. He ripped off Flash. Jeez, are we really going back to the days before talkies were even invented? When we're (laughs) we're really going to do that? Yep, because the Flash came around before I was born and you were born. Yeah, I know. We weren't even... We weren't even jizz when those things came out. When did Sonic come out? Like, 92? 90. 90. 90. All right, the Flash has been around way longer. The Flash has been around way longer? Yeah. We're going to have to make this a two-part thing, you know? <laughs> there's so much hot takes, and we're going for so long. And automatically it's like, oh, by the way, Quilados, you got like three minutes. But Oh, jeez, ready? Yeah, that's how fast it flies. It flies that fast because we are master debating. Oh, we my speak. goodness. We are, we are. This is a this is a hardcore master debating right here. Oh, man. And, um... No, but boring and unoriginal. I don't. I don't. I don't follow that, man. I. I. You know. I, I like that stuff, dude. It's cool. Now on the Switch, forget about it. You know, like I. I give my son. You know, I got my son Mario Kart. Uh, not Mario Kart. Jesus Christ. I gave him Mario Kart and I gave him Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. That's basically it. You know, those are two really good kart racing games. And I'm working on doing a whole lot more. Because there's a Nickelodeon uh, kart racers type deal. Everybody is trying to rip off Nintendo. No. M&M's Kart Racing? That's definitely ripping off Nintendo. <laughs> well, we'll get into a we'll get into the rip-offs and all those other things. We'll talk about that in our part 2. But to put an end to part 1, Crash Bandicoot is boring and unoriginal. Boring and unoriginal. You stand by that. I stand by it. He stands by that. Now, if you believe, here's what we're going to do here. If you believe that Abraham is in the right and that it's boring and unoriginal, comment as to why it's boring and unoriginal. However, you know, since this is going to be on YouTube and whatnot, if you feel like it's unwarranted and you feel like me, I'm the guy who believes that Crash Bandicoot is actually a pretty good series, if not one of the best, whatever, I'll I'll die on that hill. I'll stand by it when I say that it's actually a good platforming series. You know, like it, you know. Drop a like. Or if you're on Spotify, I guess it won't really matter anyway, but you know. We love your feedback and whatnot. Yeah. How we can improve as people. You know, we're not perfect podcast hosts. You just had a three-way last night, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. That's very true. But like I said, you yeah, know. I'm still tired from that three-way. Exactly. He's exhausted. I'm kind of a bit miffed, but, you know, I, you know, this is, this is a, this is an old friend of mine, you know, and, well, he's a friend of mine now, and, uh. I can tolerate his hot takes. <laughs> they hurt, and they're painful. Good shots Lord, they fired, hurt. Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, shots <laughs> fired. Drop the gun, drop the gun. He's all putting, like, 25 bullets into his chest or whatnot. Know. It's like, everybody stay on the ground. It's like, dude, he's not even in the ground. He's pretty much, he's he's deceased, my guy. Oh, man. He's not in the now. He's in the, he's in the, he's in the past. He's a thing he's of the, in past. the past. He's a thing of the past now. Looking like Swiss cheese and whatnot. Oh, no. Yeah. So, like I said, like it. Emotional damage. Emotional damage. Like I said before, if you're gonna if you're gonna check this out on YouTube, because for some reason, you know, I'm trying to get Spotify over, and it's just not happening right now. But 
YouTube people, what's up? What's Come up, subscribe. people? Lots of love, you know. Like and subscribe, you know. Like if like if I'm right about Crash and uh, comment as to why I'm wrong. This is arcade mode. I'm arcade. Easy. Bye bye now.